Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here to take our first ride. Well, not mine, but yours with me on camera of our new 2022 Lowrider S Harley Davidson. All new for 2022. You guys know all about the bike. And if you don't, it's got the big boy 117 Milwaukee 8 passed down from the CVO. And you also have the Lowrider ST. And then you also have the ST versions on some of the other ones like the Street and Road Glide. So Harley's making a big statement this year for performance. We are all about performance on this channel, guys. If, if you are new here, my first name is Alex. I'm a 14-year Army veteran. Thanks to Afghanistan. Ended my career a little bit early. But after the Army, you know, we picked up a camera we started making youtube videos so this is your channel if you like anything that goes fast so it doesn't matter if it has two wheels four wheels if it's a truck if it's got wheels and tires and it goes fast we are all about it so subscribe i appreciate everybody out there watching but today again is going to be our first ride on camera of our new 22 lowrider s let's go <music> Getting started on the Lowrider S, what we're all about is going fast, having a good time, and bringing you guys, you know, entertainment to watch. There's a lot of Lowrider S content already out there, but it's a lot of press coverage. I'm bringing you, I'm going to bring you content based off of ownership perspective, and we already have an abundance of parts in the garage right now, ready to go on this motorcycle. On this Harley Davidson, we're going to be doing a heavy build we're going to stretch the performance of this and really see what it's all about change the whole club style look that everybody likes and see where this adventure takes us so you know we've got mustang content truck content we got this we got that and now we're bringing the harley davidson so everybody out there that is new to the channel my name is alex like i said i'm a combat army veteran you know um, i'm lucky to be able to still walk around and stuff like that but uh you know, ultimately, once I got out, man, I really wanted to have a lot of fun. You know, after a long time of deploying and stuff like that, we really wanted to. This is therapeutic to me, especially on two wheels. That in itself is one of the reasons why I really started this YouTube channel was to, you know, show you guys mods, teach, so on and so forth. But it's therapeutic to me at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, two wheels, especially Harley Davidson, is a great way to communicate uh, my love for uh, anything automotive to the audience to have fun and be interactive with you guys out there. And and bring me closer to new friends so this is actually my first harley davidson let's get fired up here let's get on the road let's go right. Woo. this thing is so quiet we're going to be actually fixing that here very soon so get ready for that content as well been filming tons of stuff over the past few days so lots of videos going to be coming your way very shortly about every two days three days i'll release a video so you guys know to come back and watch so we're going to hit some turns up here Let's go find some back roads. I gotta tighten this down. All right, that should be fine. But I've always been a sport bike guy. The last two wheels that I had was an 18 CBR 1000, and I've got about 25 years or so, maybe not that much, maybe like 22 years of riding experience. I'm not the best by any means as far as my confidence, but I gotta tell you something, being on this really does inspire a lot more of that. Something about the weight of the vehicle, the way that it actually falls and turns naturally because of the actual weight and being low to the ground and just in a more like upright, comfortable position. This is an easier bike for me to live with on the day to day. This is actually my daily driver at this point. You know, with gas prices like they are today, I mean, it's just getting worse. This is where it's at. Harley claims like a 47 miles per gallon out of Lowrider S. I don't know if I've seen that much, but I've seen it pretty high and it's definitely helped my wallet at the end of the day, 100%. To say that this is such a comfortable bike. My experience on sport bikes, I, look, listen, I'm, I'm older, I'll be 37 this year. I don't drag my knee like I used to when I was a lot younger and you know fearless. And uh, I wanted something that I could, you know, mod. And luckily, you know, Harley Davidson, sky's the limit for accessories and performance and so on and so forth. Not that you can't do it on the sport bikes, but, you know, I could put bags on this. I could put bigger fairings on it. There's a lot of different things you can do on a Harley. And I'm really excited for that. And like I said, we have a ton of stuff in the garage already ready to go. We got exhaust because this is way too quiet, okay? 
and uh, we don't have just one exhaust we have like multiple so we're going to be doing a lot of testing we're going to be doing a lot of testing on different products on this bike to see what i like best and hopefully be able to resonate with you and the audience out there watching you know if you're building something like this if you're new to maybe the low rider or harley davidson or maybe motorcycles in general you know something that you might uh something that appeals to you but very comfortable bike very nimble it is heavier obviously than some of the sport bikes out there these days but you really don't feel it i do want to eventually get into a bagger uh, at the end of the day and that will be coming at, at some point my plan is to actually pay this off in like under a year uh, split tires lots of performance so it loves to be over 3,000 RPM on the 22 Lowrider S. He's saying, man, Jack, determined veteran on YouTube, he came down and spent a lot of time with me, and he's kind of my Harley Davidson expert, if you will. Anyway, we're about to get up here and take some turns, so I'll show you the handling capabilities of this and why I like it so much. But I appreciate him coming down, spending so much time with me. We're good buddies for years now, and uh, really educating me on what mo you know what Harley Davidson to buy. And, uh, it, you know, the, the information he passed down to me is like, it does, you can't put a price tag on it. And I ultimately settled on a Harley Davidson Lowrider S because I felt like it fit me better coming from a sport bike to a cruiser type. Wasn't really quite ready for bags yet. Although at this point after 700 and almost 800 miles, I kind of feel like I, I'm going to want one of those alongside this. I would not replace this with, you know, a bagger, um, but I, I feel like I want both. And I am bound to determine to make that happen in the next year or so. See, so they're turning left. We're going right. Do, do, do. All right. Up here are some nice twisty turns. A lot of power. Woo, squeal that back tire going in a second. All right, let's dive into this turn a little bit. Lots of fun, lots of power, lots of power. Just keep in the same gear. I'm not being crazy aggressive, but it loves, look at the RPM, it loves this power. A little trail brake and we dive it in. So much confidence. I never thought that, you know, I'd be at home on something like this because it's, it weighs more, right? It's a bigger bike. You know, uh, versus the, the CBR, but I wasn't really dragging my knee as much as I used to. I, I'm just at that point in my life where I'm, you know, uh, on a sport bike, after about 30 minutes, I was done. On this, I could go for hours, and that was the ultimate goal, is my bike that I could really live with on the day-to-day. -day. I think with the lowrider, we've completely nailed that. Hit the nail on the head. So I'm, I'm not really missing the sport bike life. Speaking of the life, the lifestyle is what I'm gonna get into real fast. The Harley-Davidson community, I want to I want to thank everybody out there for the very big, humongous, warm welcome. You know, when you buy a sport bike or something like that, you buy the bike and you're done. You know, maybe you got some friends you roll around with, but with the Harley, it's like one big happy family, and that's kind of worldwide. You know, so it's it's something about owning a Harley Davidson. They may not be the best bikes out there, com, you know, compared to some of the competition. We're going to explore some of the competition in upcoming videos, like the Indians and other cruiser types. But I got to say that. The Harley community, in my opinion, from what I've experienced so far, is the best. And I want to thank you all so very much for welcoming me, welcoming me to that, that community, that family. So, so let's go ahead and let's get turned around up here. Very easy bike. Love how the thing actually handles. Like I was saying, you don't really feel the weight so much. All right. <laughs> A lot of power. Alright, let's go a little slower through these, these turns going in reverse. Just so we can continue having a conversation right about this video. I am in love with this bike. I am in love with it. The handling, the way that it looks, the color, gunship gray, had to have it. Fuel mileage is great, the performance is there. Everything needs more power, but having the 117 in this bike is, is definitely a real treat. I love it. I'm not going crazy aggressive. 
But ultimately the answer is that yes, you can. You can really lean this bike over if you want to. It will do it. All right, let's come back down to a normal speed, back into civilization. But guys, I'm loving the fact that we're on a Harley, loving the bike so far. I appreciate all you guys watching. I mean, the Lowrider RS is really a great bike. If, if you are on the hunt for your first Harley, I would take a hard look at the Lowrider S or maybe even the ST version if you want bags and a bigger fairing and they look phenomenal. The Lowrider ST also has the 117 Milwaukee 8 so it's got all the power performance and everything so and you plus you get the bags and you get the uh, the bigger fairing there and some other nuances but great great motorcycle loving the ownership experience so far appreciate all you guys out there watching the content please remember to subscribe and, uh, you know, come to share the videos around and, uh, you know, with your friends, family, internet, you know, it definitely helps, you know, YouTube and the algorithm and everything and giving the video a big old thumbs up. So I appreciate all of, I really do appreciate all the love out there. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to end this video, wrap it up. This is just kind of my first ride and, you know, coming off of sport bikes and me being so comfortable being on something like this. I think it's, uh, it's just, it was just time. It was just time. I think the bike is priced pretty good you know for the performance and capabilities that you get and uh but you know there's always room to grow but luckily like i said the aftermarket has you covered there so Doo -doo -doo. we gotta get exhaust on this way too quiet loves that 3000 so all right guys i appreciate you watching i'm gonna wrap up the video now uh, get ready for the next one. Like I said, performance modifications and cosmetics and all those fun things are coming your way extremely fast. So every two or three days, we're going to have a video is the plan. So subscribe and I'll see all you guys later. God bless everybody out there. Goodbye.